This is the wilderness along the coast of North Carolina, where an important natural predator was the red wolf. In this vast area, where once there were thousands of red wolves, there are only three pairs, and they were flown in by helicopter. Wolves are raised in a special compound run by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service in the state of Washington. Even though the animals have been living in captivity, they're still wild. Once captured, they remain quiet and can be thoroughly examined. One reason they died off in places like North Carolina was their tendency to interbreed with coyotes. The offspring were a hybrid strain that simply could not survive. At a second sanctuary, operated by Washington University outside St. Louis, scientists took samples of blood from red wolves. Dr. John Patton analyzed their blood and the blood of wolves living in Washington to identify those that were pure red wolf. Six purebreds were selected from both Washington and St. Louis to be flown to North Carolina. Special pens had been constructed in a wilderness area to hold the wolves for six months before they were released into the wild. In time, the wilderness of North Carolina could again have the benefit of one of its important natural predators, the once nearly extinct red wolf.